Hi everyone, welcome to GoFries. And in this video, it's uh, something that I've been working on because I want to f figure out the difference between the four processors I have, which is the Ryzen 7 3700X, Ryzen 5 3600X, Ryzen 7 2700X, and the Ryzen 5 2600X. And I'm sure many of you have seen such questions or have such questions yourself. Third generation and the second generation, what's the difference? Or even like Ryzen 5 3600 versus 3700 X or, and these kind of questions, which one for you? So in this video, I will be covering production workloads and gaming workload. And for the gaming workload, I'll be using the RTX 2080 and this is the model from Galax. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look at my findings and I, ho I hope that uh, these findings of mine will be helpful for you in figuring out what is your which one should be your next purchase or whether it's a new one or an upgrade and as always if you like this kind of content please do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't now let's have a look at the benchmarks so let's start off with the productivity benchmark on Blender, it's no surprise that the Ryzen 7 3700X is the fastest, even being 20% faster than the 2700X. Surprisingly, the 3600 is not that far off from the 2700X. It's still behind. The 2700X is still ahead of it, but not as much as I thought. Now, moving on to DaVinci Resolve 16, Again, the 3700X is the fastest and uh, yes, it's still 20% faster than the 2700X. But this time, it's a little bit different for the 3600 because it is really pretty much tied with the 2700X. I can only explain this with that the 3600X, despite lesser cores, have better instructions per clock. Now moving onwards to games, I tested it out at maximum settings at full HD and I'm running at full HD to see um, which processor affects the results the most. After all, being at lower, lower resolution, the CPU is the factor that will affect the results. So on Metro Exodus, the performance is identical. Next up, we have the Division 2. We see that the second generation performs the same regardless of model and they are about 5% behind the third generation. Next up, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Here, we again see that the second generation being behind. This time, it's behind the third generation by about 10% on average FPS and lagging much behind on the 1% lows. Over to Far Cry 5, again we see the same picture of the third generation being ahead. Next up with Shadow of Tomb Raider, same like the Far Cry 5 test, the second generation is being about 20% behind on average FPS and this time around performing worse on the 1% low, being about 30% behind. So with the benchmarks done, what do you think? So based on what we can see so far, the third generation is no doubt the better one to choose when it comes to gaming performance in general but should you buy the third generation because the second generation is a lot cheaper here is the pricing in malaysian ringgit as you can see jumping from the second to the third generation whether it's ryzen 5 or ryzen 7 incurs a lot of cost some additional 50 percent or more when it comes to the price so if for production purpose you want the fastest and best clearly is the Ryzen 7 3700X. Now for if you want it cheaper a bit, that's the 2700X and the 3600. These two models are pretty much similar I find when it comes to production but in some cases the 3700X will have the edge due to the additional cost but gaming wise the 3600 will have the advantage so you have to balance figure out what software you're using and what you expect from your games. I am using an RTX 2080 over here. But if you are using, say, a lower end card, maybe an RTX 2060 or whatever else, the gap probably will reduce. 
And in my experience when it comes to gaming, I play Apex Legends. I use an RTX 2070 card running full HD and at around, and I tune it for the high frame rate to match my 144 hz screen. And what I noticed going from a 3600 to a 2600 is that there's a greater dip when it comes to performance. I mean, I was totally satisfied with the 3600, but when I switched to the 2600, there at many scenes there just a, quite some performance drop. I can I clearly see that there's a performance dip. So yes, for gaming purpose, I wholeheartedly recommend the third generation, especially the 3600 because it's plenty fast. And if you are gaming and you want to have productivity such as uh, video rendering, then go with the 30, this uh, 3700. But if you really want to cut costs and just want to enjoy gaming and don't mind, uh, you know, I, I, like what I mentioned, I'm a bit demanding when it comes to the games. I'm, I'm running at high frame rates and such. But if you are not that type, then the Ryzen 5 2600 is perfectly fine. I mean, I can game with it. There's performance dip, but I'm, I'm still enjoying my games. Though I would say the 3600 is more enjoyable, but the 2600 is able to deliver. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do factor in what are your needs whether you are gaming or whether you are doing work what are you expecting from your work are you fine with a slower slightly lesser um, performance meaning that you take a little bit longer when it comes to rendering a little bit of frame rate dips here and there but if you don't mind that you could save up a lot of money of which you can channel it someplace else so all right that's it for this video thank you for watching and i hope my findings here is informative to you and it will help you in your upcoming purchase whether it's a new rig or an upgrade or a recommendation to a friend whatever so yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't bye bye